Welcome back to Coconuts. I'm your girl, Crystal. Crystal, if you're nasty. But I know you ain't nasty no more, right? You know, not no more. <laughs> so let's get into it. I am removing a sewing that I did on my client. And she had it in for a couple of weeks. And she is ready to get a new do, honey. Yes. So she is ready to take it down. And she doesn't like to take it down herself. Because she just wants to collect as much inches as possible. Because it's all about the hair growth. Why? Because she in a long hair society. And you should be in one too. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Share this video. Like and comment. And hit that notification bell and join the long hair society it's a society that focuses on getting long hair because long hair is your destiny and big hair is your birthright so i grabbed my thread cutters and i'm ready to get into this and cut out her weave now homegirl was tired of having short nappy hair it was a no-no like come on now Short nappy hair is not the vibe. It's one thing if you want to have a short fro, but if you are coming from a big chop, the last thing you want to do is be walking the streets with a look that you ain't never rocked before. A lot of people who are coming to this natural long hair journey, they are coming from transitioning from a chemical relaxer. They are coming from cutting off their long hair that was heat damaged or colored, and they just want to still look good, but they want to get rid of chemicals. So you can't expect them to just go bald-headed and start growing out like some little coily hair that they ain't even see in years. If a person is transitioning from a relaxer, they used to stray hair. They don't even remember their real natural texture. And when they see their natural texture and they realize they actually a 4C, Oh, honey, girl, that's too much for some people. They cannot handle that. So they need a weave. They they really do. Because if they don't get into something that can compensate for this new dramatic change, honey, they going to backslide and go right back to that creamy crack. So I am all for people using wigs, using sew-ins, using braiding hair extensions, whatever they need to help them through that transition phase till they get to a more comfortable length with their natural hair. Once they get to a more comfortable length that they can start to rock their natural hair, that they can start to really embrace the natural hair journey, it's a win-win. You feel me? So... Don't be so hard on people if they really just, they not with it. They not with the short nappy hair. That's just not them. And I can respect that. So I'm here for it. So homegirl that I'm doing right now, she had did the big chop a couple years ago. And she was like, listen, I am not going to be out on them streets with no short nappy hair. I just ain't used to it right now. It's not for me. And I was like, cool, let's start a long hair journey using hair extensions. So she decided on sewings and that's what we've been doing. We've been doing sewings this whole time and it's been working for her. She is now at what? 17 inches of hair. And I'm going to show you guys in a following video how I really detangled this hair and really get her ready for her next install. We're going to be using the same extensions. And that's why it's good to invest in good hair extensions because good hair extensions is going to take you on your natural hair journey, honey. You'll be able to have the same hair extensions for years. So when I'm removing any hair extensions, I know that I have to use softened water. Why? Because I have to get her hair soft. I have to make sure I am not pulling out any hair or plucking any hair. So I have to use a water softener. I get that from coconuts.com. I put it in my water bottle and I make sure I hydrate these braids when I'm taking them down. Because we cannot afford to lose any hair. We are on a long hair journey. And I have to use a detangler to make sure I detangle her hair. All the products are natural because... Why are you going to say you're on a natural long hair journey and you're using chemicals? That don't make no sense. Not to me, it don't. So I have to use a detangler made with all natural raw ingredients. And I use that in combination with softened water and baby. The slip. <laughs> Girl, the slip be slipping. And I be getting through that hair. And it helps retain all that length because homegirl is trying to go to her knees. And she did all this with a sewing. Meaning that nobody even knew that she was on a long hair journey. Last time they seen her real hair, it was straight. 
And they keep thinking that she just wearing weave. Little do they know, underneath her weave, she has grown that long hair, honey. Yes, and you could do it too. Make sure after every sewing, before every protective style, you are using a hot oil treatment. It is just going to make sure that your hair is strong throughout all these weaving techniques. Make sure you switch to a natural shampoo because a natural shampoo is going to make sure your hair grows full, grows long, and you don't have any scalp irritations from allergic reactions to highly chemical treated products like shampoos, conditioners, and styling creams. So I'm about to wash her hair with this natural shampoo. I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that you do not have to suffer with short, nappy hair if you don't want to. If you want to, you go, girl. You grow, girl. But if you want long, natural hair, honey, you can use hair extensions, weaves, wigs, braids to get to a desired length that you are more comfortable with. And don't let nobody check you because you deserve that. You deserve the right to grow your long hair however you see fit. See you in the next video.